Well, I'd like to welcome you all to this video update. Uh, my name is John Crabe. I'm the pastor at Bears and Baptist Church. And I'm here to bring you a, a message of good news in challenging times. Uh, what we're going through right now is unprecedented with the effects of the COVID-19 virus uh, being felt all around the world, but most significantly in each of our homes as well. Uh, my own family are currently self-isolating because one of our household developed symptoms on Tuesday night. With the, modern, the wonders of modern technology, however, and the fact that some folks are still out and about means that none of us should feel isolated or unsupported. And uh, we all have a role in ensuring that and indeed spreading the net more widely to our neighbours. On the back of government advice, the leaders of the church decided last night to suspend all meetings in the church building until further notice. Certain activities may continue. Uh, for example, a food package service for those self-isolating is being considered. And certain maintenance work will go ahead as planned while the church is empty. However, for the rest of us, we would discourage uh, you from visiting the building without a good reason in order to have, avoid the risk of further transmission of the virus. But I'd like you to remind you especially today that the church is made up of people and is not the building. And perhaps God is nudging us through this temporary crisis to try out new ways of connecting with each other and with our community. Uh, please make good use of your phones to call people for a chat, especially people who may be isolated or vulnerable. And if you can help someone locally with delivering food or in other practical ways, then please do offer. We're also going to be meeting as usual on Sunday morning from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. for a time of worship. But the connection is going to be made through your home not at Roman Road. Our hope is that the service will include worship, testimony, prayer, and a reading and sermon. And we'll be using an application called Zoom. A connection with this is relatively straightforward, and you can do it with a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or a webcam uh, on a PC. You can even use your telephone, although with that, you'll only get an audio connection. Uh, details uh, will be sent out for how you can connect by email, which should happen automatically if your address, your current address in, is in the latest directory. Or for those who are not on email, we'll attempt to phone you with those details. Uh, if we don't have your current email, then please let me have that personally, well before Sunday at 10.30 a.m. We're also planning a prayer space event from 7 till 8 p.m. on Sunday evening. Uh, and then within that, we'll encourage people to light a candle and place it in your front window, representing Jesus as the light of the world. Uh, following that, we would hope to connect with the prayer gathering being planned by the Baptist Union. If there's one thing that we all need to be making a priority right now, uh, it's prayer. So we'd encourage you to get involved with that. Uh, if some of the small groups would like to attempt a meeting with Zoom, then please do get in touch with me and I can give you advice on that. On a more practical note, uh, our church meeting this week had to be postponed but we are continuing with the deacon's election process remotely. I'm hoping that you should all now have had a letter explaining that process and suggestions for potential nominees for the leadership should now be forwarded by phone or electronically to Joe McCrum by April the 5th. Finally, uh, we want you to know that it's very important to the leadership that you feel supported spiritually, emotionally, and practically at this time. Myself, 
the deacons, the pastoral team, uh, small group leaders will be keeping in contact with you as much as possible. But please do let us know if you have any particular needs as they arrive. And if you have any queries or are concerned about anything, uh, or would be like to be added to the pastoral lists, then please contact myself, a, a deacon or a pastoral team member at any time. And in the, the meantime, and before 10.30 on Sunday morning, I just want to say this to you in closing. Stay safe and God bless you all.